Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're making the Star Trek Klingon Blood Cocktail. This is going to be very flavorful. It's going to have a lot of deep red colors. If you ever actually had Rasmataz Raspberry Schnapps, you notice it's like a very deep, almost blood red color. So that's going to definitely add to the effect. And using blood orange liqueur, or blood. And one thing about the Klingons is they're very ferocious. They they hunt their prey. They they just love the throw of the hunt. So why not add some Jägermeister, Master Hunter, to there? But some spice, add a little bit of flavor. And just for to help it, add some blackberry brandy. That's going to add some more darkness, more flavor. It's going to be overall a lot better cocktail. And some orange juice for thickness. So it's going to have a lot of sweetness. A little bit of the Jaeger flavor. Not much. We're going to use a quarter ounce just to get the idea in there. Plus a slight amount of the flavor. And a lot of good flavor to it overall. But I'll show you exactly how this is made because it's going to be shake strain into a coupe. First thing I want to do is take an ounce Actually, before you do that, that's what Rasmus has. You want to add some ice to your shaker. Because you can't shake your drink without ice. So you're going to take an ounce of that. Hopefully with the cap off. It won't work with the cap on, that's for sure. So this is what I like about this. That's red, but it is deep red color. Almost kind of purplish, if that makes any sense. You want to take a half ounce of your Solaire now. A quarter ounce of your Jägermeister spice. If you can't get Jägermeister spice, you could pretty much just use regular Jäger. You're just not gonna get that extra spice vanilla flavor to it. But it still works the same. But pretty much, this was a limited edition. Everybody has it now. I don't think that it's gonna be a limited edition anymore. I think it's basically a permanent fixture. There we go. Then you want to add a half ounce blackberry brandy. And an ounce of your orange juice. Now, surprisingly, given the popularity of Star Trek, this is my first Star Trek cocktail. So, it's definitely something that's going to be interesting to do. One thing I like about the orange, it still kind of gives it that coagulated blood look. So, it's still going to be like a clean on blood flavor. You want to take that, pour it into your coop. There you have it. Klingon blood. So it's definitely going to have a lot of citrus flavor, as you can tell. But a lot of raspberry and other berry flavors. It's exactly how it tastes. Hmm. One thing I'm noticing, I said this before, no matter what amount you put of this, it comes through. You taste the, the Salerno. To me, Salerno tastes like Fruity Pebbles. So that mixed with the Raspberry Schnapps kind of has a bit of a Fruity Pebble flavor to it. But it's actually a really good cocktail. A lot of flavor to it. It is very sweet. The Jägermeister Spice, you don't really taste it at all. It's only a quarter ounce. It's just basically adding 
a slight licorice flavor to it. You can get that kind of in the back end, that, that bite you get from the licorice and the, the Jägermeister. Very, very subtle cinnamon flavor. Not really anything potent to it. But the blackberry stands through. The raspberry obviously stands through. And the Salerno with the blood orange liqueur, that definitely stands through. Because it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. But it's a very good cocktail. It still has that nice, like, deep, coagulated blood or color to it. It's very flavorful. It's a very good cocktail. And it's also the first Star Trek cocktail made on the site. I plan on making plenty more. I may take some of the ones, like, from Deep Space Nine that Quirk made and turn them into actual cocktails. Perfect thing to use when you're doing a Star Trek cocktail. Add some of the Fenique. That'll give it a nice shimmery color to it. it kind of get that space idea you do get with Star Trek. Let me make a couple of Star Wars cocktails. Some of the ones that you may see in the Cantina State or seen in the, I believe it was the second Star Wars movie. Well, which is technically episode five. So it's definitely going to be interesting. I have a lot of plans for both of these series. Maybe do a Star Trek versus Star Wars. Maybe take like pivotal characters. From both series, just have them battle against each other. Maybe make a couple cocktails that way, which would be pretty interesting. But I hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Be sure to like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails, subscribe to our channel. If you have any ideas for cocktails, submit them below. You'll see the link. You'll also see an email at the end of this video. You can send it right to there also. But definitely send away. Make them as interesting as you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be pop culture, it could be whatever style cocktail you want. Even just maybe making a cocktail based off your name, if you have an interesting name. Don't know. Maybe make a, if your last name is Alexander, or first name is Alexander. Kind of make an Alexander style drink. However you want to do it. But as always, drink responsibly.